I'm going to show you how to set up a cross product in Calculus 3. To start this off, you want to create a big matrix where you have an I, a J, and a K. The I's, J's, and K's actually represent the components of your vector. So we have I, J, K for vector 1, and we have I, J, K for vector 2. So I'm going to start by taking vector 1, I'm going to put it in the second row of this matrix. And now I'm going to take vector 2, I'm going to put it in the third row. Now once you have this big matrix, what you want to do is set up three small matrices for I, J, and K. So to set up the I matrix, we're going to go to I in this big matrix, and we're going to cross out the row, and we're going to cross out the column. So 2, 3, 4, negative 1 is the matrix you want for your I matrix. For the J matrix, you're going to find your J here, and you're going to cross off the column, and you're going to cross off the row. So we'll have negative 2, 3, 3, negative 1. Now we'll go to our K, and we'll cross off the row, and we'll cross off the column. So we'll have negative 2, 2, 3, 4. The last step is to start with a positive sign, and then alternate signs between each matrix. And if you found the determinant of each matrix by basically cross-multiplying and subtracting each result, that would give you the new vector that comes from the cross product of vectors 1 and 2. 